But his Torino made its debut in 1968, and the car was an instant success, not only on the sales charts, but on the racetracks as well. And only very minor changes took place on the surface for 69. However, under the hood, it's a different story. This year, there's one model with a snake on the fender and 428 cubic inches up front. And as far as we could tell in the short time we played with it at Fomoco's test track, the Cobra Torino is one wild supercar. We were first introduced to the 69 Torino Cobra back in the early part of August at Ford's test track in Dearborn, Michigan. Even the Cobra insignias were not ready yet, thus the reason for the decals. With this little muscle-bound version, Fomoco is coming a little closer to the super speedway car. In fact, at the rate they're going, a Torino owner will soon have to take his car into Holman Moody for servicing. Our tester was a silver blue, and as you can see, very few changes were made on the surface. On the insignia, the Cobra is coiled on a set of wheels. Obviously, this snake is out to catch the Roadrunner. This hood scoop with a 428 Cobra jet placard on the side is probably the quickest way to spot one. And it's for real, ramming air right down into the four throats of that big carburetor. And here's the 428 cubic inches of TNT that gets this Torino away from the green light quick. It puts out 335 advertised horsepower at 5,600 RPMs, plus a husky 445 foot-pounds of torque with a 10.7 to 1 compression ratio. And that's enough to rattle your back teeth whenever you decide to let the clutch fly.